Today we're going to be talking about how to find the polar equation of a hyperbola. And in this particular problem we've been told that the eccentricity is equal to 1.5 and that the directrix has the equation y equals 2. Now the only difficult thing about this problem is figuring out which formula to use for the equation of the hyperbola. That's determined completely by the equation of the directrix. So if the equation of the directrix is y equals a positive constant, then we're going to be using the formula that I've written here, which is r equals e times d divided by the quantity 1 plus e sine theta, where e is eccentricity and d is the directrix. But if you have anything other than y equals a positive constant, for example, if you have y equals a negative constant, or if you have x equals a positive constant, or x equals a negative constant as the equation of the directrix, then in each case, the formula for the equation of the hyperbola will be different. So this formula only applies to y equals a positive constant. In the other case, y equals a negative constant, x equals a positive constant, or x equals a negative constant, you're going to be using a different formula. And the only difference will be the positive sign will be a negative sign here and or instead of sine of theta, you'll have cosine theta here. But once you figure out the formula you need, then you're just plugging in the values for eccentricity and directrix. So in our case, we have r equals eccentricity of 1.5. So we'll get 1.5 times d, which in our case is 2. So times 2 divided by 1 plus 1.5 sine theta. And now all we need to do is simplify. So the first thing we want to do in the numerator, 1.5 times 2 is 3, so we'll get that in our numerator. But then in our denominator, we want to call 1.5 here 3 halves instead. So we'll get 1 plus 3 halves sine theta. We don't want to leave a decimal in our final answer. Now that we have a fraction in our denominator, we want to find a least common denominator and simplify this whole fraction here. So what we'll do is the 1 here that's in front, we'll multiply that by 2 over 2 to make it a common denominator with this 3 halves here. So we'll get r equals 3 over 2 over 2 plus, and this will be 3 halves times sine theta, let's just call it 3 sine theta all over 2. Now we can combine the fractions in our denominator and we'll get r equals 3 over 2 plus 3 sine theta all over 2. And now instead of dividing 3 by this fraction, we can multiply 3 by the fraction's reciprocal. So we'll get 3 times the reciprocal, 2 over 2 plus 3 sine theta. And when we do that, we'll multiply 3 by 2, and we'll see that we get r equals 6 now in the numerator, divided by 2 plus 3 sine theta. And that's the simplified version of the polar equation of this hyperbola. This is our final answer, given that we had a specific eccentricity and equation of the directrix. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below, and subscribe to be notified of future videos.